What's up collectors, this is Parlay J here with you today. And today we are gonna talk about my top three cards of players that I am huge on going into 2020. As you know, I am big on the flip game. I think along with having fun collecting cards, you should keep an eye on flipping it to try to make some profit while you're doing it to finance your hobby. On the cusp of 2020, going into the 2020 baseball season, where you can buy them now, either at a slight discount or at a price that I think is going to not be available to you next season or the next or the season beyond that, um, and make some money either next season or in the year after. Who are those three, you're asking? Now, let me just first say, these are my opinions only. By no means are these guarantees. So if you decide to take this advice, please do so at your own risk. This is personally me sharing my thoughts and opinions and feelings with you and you can do with them what you will. So without further ado, here are my top three. Number one, Jordan Alvarez. So I am huge on Jordan Alvarez. Why? Because one, he's an insane player. Two, because he's an Astro. And three, because he is now going to really get a shot at doing big things in a potent lineup next season. Jordan Alvarez, he didn't quite pan out the way that we thought he would in the postseason. He was hot for a bit, and then he was sort of average for a bit. Thought he really had a shot at being a, you know, a World Series MVP type. So I kind of went in on Jordan just before the playoffs while his card values were low. I would say go in on Bowman Paper, which is a little bit more of an affordable price point, and then the Bowman Chrome. Um, there's also a whole number of more expensive cards, autos and whatnot from Bowman, are way more desirable. And when Jordan appreciates in value, those cards will pop at a very, even higher rate than these cards will. Um, but if you are going for the flip game and you are willing to sell in quantity, then I would recommend going with the Bowman Chrome or the paper versions of Jordan Alvarez, because I think next year he is really gonna pop. He also has cards coming out in the top set, so these Bowman cards are probably going to be more um, you know, valuable because they came out earlier as Bowman's always do. Um, so definitely keep an eye on that. There, you can get a Jordan Alvarez rookie PSA 10 in the range of 30 to 40 bucks still. Sometimes you can get it cheaper, but that is one guy that I am looking out for and I am banking on going into next season. Number two is our boy Christian Yellick. Now, I've said this in many other videos, Christian Yellick is a premier player. Yellick's card values spiked drastically at the beginning of last season and into the mid-season. Yellick's card values plummeted, not as drastically, but enough where it could create a little bit of demand and buying opportunities after he got injured toward the end of the season. Now, everybody thought this was Yellick's year. He was definitely gonna take home the All-Star, um, excuse me, the MVP, and then the injury came. But what it did was create a lot of opportunity for flippers and for buyers. So Christian Yellick PSA 10s are still going for under 100 bucks right now. You can get them probably as low as $75, $80 right now. They sort of leveled off last season around 145, 150 was sort of the sweet spot, but they popped higher than 200 at one point. So that's a big swing. So as soon as I saw the Yellick cards come down and the timing in the season was right because it was going into the off season, I went into stock up mode. And so I am big on Christian Yellick cards. Now he's got a ton of different variants and so what you would want to do is specifically for Christian Yellick too, you know, load up on his variants if you can get it. He's got the Walmart blue, he's got this gold. There's also the Christian Yellick black. That didn't really take a hit in value quite as much because the blacks are so super rare as it is. There's the emerald. So there's a lot of them. And make sure that if you want to get into the Christian Yellick game, you are looking at all those cards and you are tracking them in conjunction with my tactics that you can see on eBay in one of our other videos that I will link up here by watching his auctions, putting in offers, 
and trying to capture Yellick cards at as much of a discount as you can while you still can. When Yellick comes back next season, if he takes off the way he has been every year in his career, you can see an ultimate selling opportunity come up um, and you can make some money in the process. So that is why I am hot on Christian Yellick number two. And the last one, and this is really gonna come as no surprise, it is everybody's favorite, Mike Trout. I am still big on purchasing Mike Trout rookies. Now, base card rookie, 2011 Topps Update rookie, topped out last season about $1,400-ish, average. Auctions were going for between 12 and 1450 before his injury. They then declined in the off season and you were able to get some Mike Trout rookies for, I've seen them go as low, PSA 10s as 800 to 850. And so that was the time to snag them because we know Mike Trout and we see what the Angels are doing right now. They are building up to win. This is this century's Mickey Mantle, folks. So if you think back to when you could have gotten a Mickey Mantle rookie for a couple hundred dollars or a couple thousand dollars and you look at it right now, and so even though there's a much higher population of these base card Mike Trout 2011 update cards, granted, you can't compare it to Mickey Mantle population wise, this is still Mike Trout. And while by far, if you're investing in Mike Trout, you wanna go with his Bowman Auto, that is the most you know valuable card, most expensive, but you're talking between 10 and 20 grand. Depending on, again, your budget, this could be one that if you have the money to stock up on a couple of these guys, come next season, if the Angels take off and if they go to the series, like they're rearing up to do. And if they win the series, and if Mike Trout becomes the MVP, and if Mike Trout has an insane season again, doesn't get hurt, I mean, the thousand dollars that you spent now could easily double next season. So for that reason, Mike Trout is in my top three. Buy them now while you still can because you will be able to flip these guys for money later unless something crazy drastic happens to Trout or his career. I cannot see this hurting you in the long run and you might even be able to make some money in the short term. So guys, those are my three. Christian Yellick, Jordan Alvarez, Mike Trout. Make sure you get on that. And again, could it turn out to not be as great as I think it will? Of course it could. But I'm sharing my thoughts with you because I want you to reap the benefits of players who have cards that are worth less now that could make uh, a run in value later. So thank you again, guys. Thanks for joining. If you agree with me, disagree with me, if you think somebody else should have been in my top three, let me know, comment, like, subscribe. I reply to every single comment that I see. Thank you guys for joining. Super pumped to be with you as always. And don't forget, I'm Parlay J. Take care, spike your hair. We'll see you next time. Whoosh.